Alola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in this video we're going to be discussing what happens when you transfer a Pokemon from red, blue, and yellow into Pokemon Sun and Moon. Of course they're going to go through a lot of different changes. We're going to be discussing the gender changes, the IV changes, the EV changes, the nature changes, and even the most important one that a lot of people care about, the shiny values. The shiny values. That is so important. As you can see just in this thumbnail, we show the older Charizard turning into a black colored shiny Charizard in the newer game. Now let's get into exactly how this shiny stuff can happen. So let's take a look at some of the points here. Now I want you guys to know before we read off point one, DV is an older value used in the early games. It was not IVs, but it was DVs that were used. So rule or points number one, shiny Pokemon must have 10 DV in special attack, speed, and attack. They can have 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, and 15 DV in defense. So I'm going to pull up a chart so you guys are not like confused on what is going on here. So let's take a look at this. So here's what we have here. We have our lovely calculator that can tell us whether the Pokemon will be shiny and does it match up to the DVs. And on the left, we have a screenshot of an Articuno that was caught in Pokemon Yellow. So let's take a look and see what has to be done. Now, like I mentioned before, you have to have 10 DVs in Special Attack, Speed, and Attack. So we're gonna be looking at this line and we're gonna be comparing it to the Articuno. So point one, we look at Articuno Special, it says 144, and then we go back to this graph or this little calculator chart here and we're gonna see that it does not fall under that for the special attack so there we go right off the bat this article on the left will not be a shiny but if it were to be a shiny we would need that special to be 110 we would need that um, special we would need the speed yeah we need the speed to be a hundred and we would need the attack to be a hundred now, as I mentioned before, the defense has a lot of ways to play around. Defense can be 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, or 15. All right, that is a lot of room to play around with the defense. So you can roll lucky on the defense. You get a lot of options to pick on the defense under the DVs, but you have to have special attack, attack, and the speed all in the 10 category. So that's how you determine a shiny. This calculator is pretty useful because basically all you gotta do is you enter in the Pokemon, you enter in the level, and you have it under the wild slash just caught, and you just hit, you know, calculate, and you'll get this beautiful image here. It'll, it'll, it'll bring it up for you, and you guys can check whether that Pokemon will be a shiny if you transfer it up into Pokemon Sun and Moon. So that's pretty simple. I'm gonna link that down in the description below for you guys to use. Uh, now let's move on and continue on with the points going on here. The second point that you're going to have to know in this game is that Pokemon will not be transferred if they have moves that can be learned in one Gen 1 game, but not another. Basically what that means is, as an example, is if your friend can transfer his Charizard with Fly that he taught it in yellow, but if he trades it to your copy of red, it cannot be transferred. So that's pretty much the example of that. Um, so if the move can't be learned in another game, it can't, you can't transfer it. The moves have to be learned equally across all the games. So that's pretty much it. The third point that you guys have to know is that gender is completely random. You do not know what the gender will be. When you transfer it over, it could either be a male or it could be a female, and that is unpredictable. There is no data to say how it's gonna happen. It's just totally RNG for gender. Next point is that the Pokemon nature is based on the experience, remainder of Pokemon experience divided by 25. So we know it's based on experience. We talked about this in another video. In our video, we talked about the nature guide and the transfer and how to know the nature in red, blue, or yellow. So we go in depth on that. So I'm gonna link that at the end of the video so you guys can take a look at that. We go into a lot of details on how to figure out what nature your Pokemon will be. But nature in general, as this point says, is based on your experience divided by 25 and that remainder is going to be relating to the certain nature of the Pokemon. Next up is number five. All Pokemon 
will have perfect three IVs. No matter what, any Pokemon that you transfer from the game will have perfect three IVs. In the case of Mew being transferred over, it'll have five perfect IVs. And the sixth point is that Pokemon EVs are all going to be set to zero when they are in Sun and Moon. Now, one more point that isn't on this list that you have to know, every single Pokemon from the game is going to be having its hidden ability except for the ones that aren't given their hidden ability in Gen 1. So all hidden ability Pokemon will be coming from Gen 1. That is why we cannot have that Fissure Machamp with no guard because we given the Machamp with its special ability and there's no way of changing that with ability capsules. So yeah, that I believe is pretty much it for this video. Five points that you gotta know. Pay attention very closely to the shiny ones. You can, get, you guys can actually shiny hunt in the game, and you can check these stats. Use that calculator that I did provide for you. Compare and 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 see. You know what, what, what am I missing? Is it going to be having the right attack? Is it going to be having the right um, <laughs> speed? You know that's something to notice. And also, just want to point out when you look at special on Articuno special is translated into special attacks alright so just keep that in mind special falls under special attack so use that to your advantage like I said just a quick reminder 10 DVs have to be in the special attack in the speed and in the attack and defense you can play around with that as well so those are all the points guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this was useful for you if you enjoyed it smash that like button and if you're new to the channel subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.